Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly Harry Scotsman, back again with another wee review. I was in Lidl again, it's like a second home to me, that place. Um, but they've got an amazing wee bakery section there. I've noticed the prices have absolutely skyrocketed recently in it, but everything's going up in price, and except my wages. So I found this. Put in the wee bags that you get free, and it is in here. It is a lemon drizzle bun. It cost 75p. Let's see if that comes down likewise. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now it's not a bad size, it's probably about three and a half inches across, maybe four. It looks like, you know when you get a cinnamon bun? It's that kind of thing, it's rolled round. There's, it smells very, very lemony. It's a lemon drizzle bun, it's going to smell lemony, you would hope. It's got, like a, quite a firm icing on the top. And there's bits of it falling off there, I don't know where that went. Oh, it's up there, it's fine. A bit of chocolate on it. It's got a white chocolate curled on the top of it. I like white chocolate. I like most chocolates. Mm, that's nice. It's just nice, plain uh, milk chocolate. Get a wee bit of icing. Just ordinary icing on the top. Um, standard taste of icing. But the bun smells so it's like, it smells like lemon curd. That could be what's in it. So let's now I'm not gonna bite it, I'm actually gonna break in here and try and pull a bit off. Because it comes apart like that. Right, the pastry on it is basically the same as a cinnamon bun. It's like a bread. You can taste the lemon coming through it. No, that is nice. I'm almost certain it's the same pastry as a cinnamon bun, but instead of putting the cinnamon inside it, they've put lemon curd on it. Rolled it up, cut it into bits, baked it, icing, bit of white chocolate, shred, uh, shaved white chocolate, and you've got a lemon drizzle bun. That is lovely. It's not too lemony, if you know what I mean. It's just got a nice balance of lemon in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get a good bite of it with a bit of everything there, you've got the lemon curd, you've got the bready dough, got a little bit of white chocolate on the top, but that icing on the top really, really sweetens it up. That is good. That just works so, so well. It's the first time I've seen them have them in there. Normally I've got the cinnamon ones in, but this is a refreshing cake. The the bready bit, the sort of pastry on it, is it tastes like a dry bread, 
but it's light. It's airy. It's tasty. It's very, very tasty. I'm going to be finishing this quite soon, I tell you that. This is a cuppa cake. You have a cuppa in the afternoon, or whenever you're having a cuppa, and you munch on one of them. That would go down really well. Unfortunately, I don't like tea or coffee. Um, tea occasionally, but I can't stand coffee. And when I do drink something hot, it's usually a bovril. I don't think it would work with a bovril. Bovril's a meat drink. It's like drinking watered down gravy. Um, that's good. I mean, I would drink it with a cold drink. I've got a big cold drink here. I've got a uh, peach, diluting peach juice and lemonade, which is lovely. It's nice. Um, so yeah. I'm going to pop off and finish this. Um, hopefully I'll see you all again very, very soon. If you haven't already subbed, I'd appreciate it if you hit, hit, hit the button and the bell. If you, hit, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you don't like what I'm doing, don't. Um, and if you want to leave me a wee message, go for it. I'll get back to you. It might not be today, or, but it'll be pretty soon. So... I'll vanish just now. As I say, take care of yourselves, everyone. Hopefully speak to you all again very, very soon. See ya.